With an IP adapter, you can easily style your images in stable diffusion. IP adapter is an additional model to ControlNet, which uses an image input as a prompt or style, unlike text-based prompting. This video will demonstrate how to style your images with a few examples. First of all, we need to install the ControlNet extension before we can use the IP adapter. Then head over to the extension tab, click on available and click on load from. I will uncheck this box so I don't see my installed extensions. Search the name ControlNet to see the ControlNet extension. Once this shows up, you can click install. As you guys can see, I already have mine installed. Scroll up once you have this installed and click on the install tab. Once you are here, check for update for the ControlNet extension. If there is an update, as you guys can see, click on apply and restart to update all your extensions. Next, we need to install the second requirement, which is the IP adapter models. To do this, head over to Hagen Phase and download these models. Put these models into Automatic 11.11 under this directory. So I have already downloaded a few of them, as you guys can see here. Inside Automatic 11.11, the ControlNet tab will be located at the bottom of the page. Once we drop down the tab, scrolling down, we should see IP adapter model. So the processes have been downloaded and the models will appear on the right tab. In case you don't see your models, click to refresh for them to show up. I would go into the image to image tab. So I'll be using this reference image as our prompt. I'll quickly drag the image into the image to image tab. I'll use this icon to have a description of the image prompt. I'll copy all of this as our positive prompt. Go back to the text to image tab and paste this here as our positive prompt. Next, I'll put in a, a generic negative prompt. I'll click generate to see what gives us from the default settings. Alright, so we have something cool, but I'll go ahead to change the settings to something I actually want. So I'll change the width and the height to 984 by 864. I would also adjust the steps to 40. I'll keep everything else at default and see what comes up out of this. So this is not bad, but I'd like to include the high res fix. I'll change this to 4x ultra sharp and I'll decrease the scale so this doesn't take too much time. The denoising strength to 0.3 to avoid any drastic changes. So keep the steps to 19. This will be our style image. I want to style the image from this artwork. I'll move down to the control net tab, drag the style into control net. We enable control net, scroll down to also enable the IP adapter. Under the processor, change the processor to the Clip 15 version and also the model to Plus SD15. This is all we need to do for now and let's click on Generate to see what we get from this. Alright, so this is already looking cool from the faces and the style we applied, but we need more control to make this into the direction we are looking for. Just come down to control net again. I'm going to use an extra tab of the control net unit. If you don't have more tabs in your control net, head to the settings, scroll down to control net. Under control net, you can change the number of units you have under your multi control net. I have three for now, and you guys can always um, increase it to the number you feel is desirable for your project. Uh, back to the prompt, I'm going to drag in our reference image we used before and in here I'm going to enable control net again. Uh, remember to include pixel perfect, I also forgot this in the first unit. So in the second unit, enable depth so we can have the control over the character's figure. Inside depth, we change the processor to depth Zoe and also the model needs to be the same as the processor which is depth. Um, I'll click on this explosion icon to see a preview. I'll go ahead to generate this to see the combination of both the styles to see what we achieve. Alright, so this is actually looking awesome. I'll move on for a second technique as well. In here, I already have my prompt and I already have my negative prompt. Um, this is the picture I want to use as the reference and also I'll keep everything at default similar to what we did earlier. 
I would enable uh, control net, drag in to drop the image reference. I'm going to use the image reference as a style first. So I'll tick on IP adapter checkbox. I'll change the processor to the clip vision again, 15, and also select the model to be plus SD15. With the IP adapter selected as the style and also everything checked in here, I would like to use the script. I'll first of all change the X type to have the checkpoint names. I'm going to select um, Hello 2D Young. Also, I'll go for Two New, and also I'll go for Ink Punk just to compare these three checkpoints to see what we get. And for the Y type, I'm going to select the sampler, and the values will be for SDE Caras and uh, Eurla A to compare these options. From here, I'm going to click Generate, and let's see what we get from these comparisons of these settings. Right, so we have these variations. Well, Hello to the young girl at A is looking best for me from all the outcomes. So I'll keep the checkpoint the same, but down to the sampling method, I'll change this to Eurla A from the XYZ plot. So we have this easily generated anime character just by enabling the IP adapter in the control net extension. So I can just keep this as my style or I can still push this a bit further. And I can still enable the depth, change this to the depth Zoe processor. Also, I make sure my model is for depth. You just have a preview of what this will look like. I'll enable control net and I'll drag in another style. Use IP adapter for the style and also change the processor to the clip vision and the model also to plus 15 once again. So going back to the first unit, you guys can see we have the reference image as depth under control net and we'll just combine these two to see what we get using the IP adapter once again. I'll click generate. All right, so as you guys can see, this has unlimited possibilities using the IP adapter in control net. And I would also like to include um, the add detailer to see if this also works along with the IP adapter. I'll keep the scale a bit up just to have more details of the character's face and see what we can achieve from this. So I really, really like this style and I hope you guys are inspired to use this technique in any ways in your projects to see what you can also come up with. I hope you guys found this useful and you can always leave a like if this was helpful in any way and I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully.